welcome dear students in last lecture we learn we learn some basic concept about the financial planning and we completed four questions from the practice set 4.1 now we have to start with question number 5 6 and 7 one all these three questions are important one before going to question number 4 some information we have to share see dear student suppose <coughs> taxable value what is taxable value what is total value that total value is also called as a invoice value and what is gst now see suppose the cost of one product is 100 rupees that is that amount is called as a taxable value on this taxable value we have to add gst suppose it is 10 rupees gst is there and we got here 110 rupees this is total value with gst now dear student if you understand this concept then it is very easy to solve the question number 4 5th and 6 i will show you a very easy technique see here that is taxable value that is the original value of that product in that value if we add gst then we get the total value and that total value is supposed to be a called as a total value with gst that means total value means gst is added in that taxable value now see here total value or the sorry total value with gst is equal to taxable value plus gst remember this this is total value with gst is equal to is equal to taxable value plus gst you have to remember this we have to use this for question number 4 5 and 6 now see here dear student we go to the question number 4 See the taxable value. Sorry, question number fifth one. The total value with GST of a remote control toy car is rupees one thousand seven hundred and seventy. Rate of GST is eighteen percent on toys. Find the taxable value CGST HGST for this toy car. See, dear student, what is given? The total value with GST, total value with GST one thousand seven hundred and seventy rupees. And taxable value we have to find out. And GST rate is given. It is eighteen percent. GST rate is how much? Eighteen percent. And we have to find out. we have to find out the taxable value then we have to find out gst cgst and hgst dear student all of you know that cgst and hgst will be the same amount now see if you understand this then it is very easy see total value with gst is 1770 taxable value we have to find out and GST rate is given. It is eighteen percent. Therefore, first of all, what we have to find out, we have to find out the taxable value. Therefore, question number fifth one is there, and let taxable value of remote control toy car
बी एक्स रूपीज डेयर स्टूडेंट सी एर लेट द टेक्सेबल वैल्यू ऑफ द रिमोट कंट्रोल टॉय कार बी रूपीज एक्स दिस इज द टेक्सेबल वैल्यू ऑन दिस टेक्सेबल वैल्यू वॉट इज जी एस टी सी एर रेट ऑफ जी एस टी इज इक्वल टू एटीन परसेंट पेर पर अमाउंट ऑफ जी एस टी इज इक्वल टू एटीन परसेंट ऑफ टैक्सेबल वैल्यू नौ एटीन परसेंट ऑफ टैक्सेबल वैल्यू मीन्स एटीन इन टू टैक्सेबल वैल्यू इज एक्स रूपीज एक्स अपॉन हंड्रेड आई थिंक एवरी वन अंडरस्टूड दिस इट इज एटीन एक्स अपॉन हंड्रेड डेयर स्टूडेंट सी अमाउंट ऑफ जी एस टी इज एटीन परसेंट ऑफ टैक्सेबल वैल्यू एटीन परसेंट ऑफ टैक्सेबल वैल्यू मीन्स एटीन इन टू एक्स अपॉन हंड्रेड इट विल वेट एटीन एक्स अपॉन हंड्रेड दिस इज द अमाउंट ऑफ जी एस टी नाउ डेयर स्टूडेंट सी हेयर टोटल वैल्यू विथ जी एस टी इज वन सेवन सेवन जीरो टैक्सेबल वैल्यू इज एक्स एंड वॉट इज जी एस टी जी एस टी इज एटीन एक्स अपॉन हंड्रेड नाउ इफ वी सॉल्व दिस वी गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस एक्स एंड वेरी इजी टू सॉल्व आई थिंक एवरी वन अंडरस्टूड दिस दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग रिमोट कंट्रोल टैक्सेबल वैल्यू वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट वी ऑल्सो मीट एज अ एक्स then rate of gst is 18% therefore amount of gst is 18% of taxable value and 18% of taxable value means 18 into x upon 100 that will be 18x upon 100 now we know that total value with gst is rupees 1770 therefore we can directly write here therefore we can write here this is x that is taxable value plus 18x upon 100 this is gst we will get here 1770 yes student any doubt x plus 18x is equal to 1770 now we have to solve this this is x upon 1 therefore dear student 100 into 100x plus 18x is equal to 1770 any doubt see x into 100 1 into 18x this 100 ones are 100 therefore dear student here 118 x upon hundred is equal to one seven seven zero. Therefore, one one eight x is equal to one seven seven zero into hundred. Therefore, x is equal to one seven seven zero 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 divided by one one eight. Therefore, we get here x is equal to one five triple zero. If we Simplify this, we get x is equal to fifteen thousand. Now see here, fifteen hundred. This is the taxable value. Got it? Now, dear student, therefore, taxable value is equal to rupees one five double zero. Now, what we have to do? First, we got taxable value. now we have to find out gst now we can find out it in this value we can substitute the values 18x into 18x upon 100 or we can simply see here amount of gst is equal to total value minus जी टोटल वैल्यू माइनस 
टेक्सेबल हो जाए स्टूडेंट इट इज वेरी इजी मेथड देर फॉर गो थ्रू दिस टोटल वैल्यू वन सेवन सेवन जीरो माइनस वन फाइव डबल जीरो इट इज टू फाइव जीरो टू सेवन जीरो देर फॉर अमाउंट ऑफ जी एस टी इज रूपीज टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी रूपीज See, dear student, we can find out by using this formula also. Amount of GST is eighteen x upon hundred. Substitute the value of x is equal to one five double zero. Then substitute uh, simplified we will get here two seventy. Or simple way, we know the amount of we have to find out the amount of GST. We know the to total value. Total value one seven seven zero. From that find out the uh, subtract the taxable value. It is one thousand five hundred. Therefore, we get two thousand two hundred and seventy rupees. This is the GST. Now, what we have to find out, dear student, we have to find out amount of C GST and H GST. Therefore, C amount of C GST and S GST is equal to half into GST. Now half into what is GST? GST is two hundred and seventy. Now simplify this. Dear student, it is one hundred and thirty-five rupees. Amount of GST is one thirty-five. CGST sorry, GST is two hundred and seventy. CGST is one thirty-five. HGST is also one hundred and thirty-five rupees. Very simple, very easy method. I use to teach you. Very simple this. If you know this formula, total value is equal to total value is equal to taxable value plus GST. It is very easy to solve, and you will get the answer. Write down the final answer. First, you have to write taxable value is one thousand five hundred rupees. Amount of GST is two hundred and seventy rupees, and amount of CGST is equal to HGST is equal to one hundred and thirty-five rupees. Now we have to start with the next sum. <coughs> See the question number sixth one. Tip top electronics supply an AC of one point five ton to a company. Cost of the AC supplied is rupees. Fifty one thousand two hundred with GST. Rate of CGST on AC is fourteen percent. Then find the following amounts as shown in a tax invoice of Tip Top Electronics. Rate of HGST. Rate of GST. Taxable value of AC. Total amount of GST. Amount of CGST and amount of SGST. Student, it is very easy question. As we saw question number fifth one, similar to the sixth. Now see, Tip Top Electronics supply an AC of one point five ton to a company. Cost of the AC supplied is rupees. Fifty one thousand two hundred with GST. Therefore, see here total value of AC is equal to rupees fifty one thousand two hundred. This is the total value. Now cost of AC is given. Rate of CGST. Rate of CGST is equal to fourteen percent. Dear student, uh, rate of HGST we have to find out. Rate of CGST is fourteen percent. Then tell me what will be the rate of HGST. 
it is 14 percent same therefore rate of SGST is equal to 14 percent answer of first question is finished now then find the following rate of SGST rate of GST on AC second rate of GST is equal to rate of CGST plus rate of HGST rate of CGST plus rate of SGST the student it is 14% plus 14% it is 28% isn't it? Yes, is it right? Rate of GST is 28%. Now, further what we have to find out? Taxable value of AC. Now dear student, as we learned in a question number 5th one, how to find out the taxable value? Here, total value is given, rate of GST is given and we have to find out the taxable value. Therefore, let the taxable value of AC B rupees X. Now total value is known pi one two double zero. We know the taxable value. Rate of GST, dear student, the rate of GST is equal to 28% therefore amount of GST amount of GST is equal to it is 28% of X got it therefore it is 28 into X upon 100 therefore it is 20X upon 100. This is the amount of GST. Now dear student, all of you know that what is <coughs> total value? For that purpose, first taxable value X plus what is GST? GST is 28X upon 100 is equal to 5, 1, Two double zero. We have to solve this. Yes, student. We have to solve this. Now see here. Hundred x upon one. It is hundred. Therefore, hundred x plus twenty eight x is equal to five one two double zero. Now it is one hundred and twenty eight x is equal to 51200 into 100 now see there student x is equal to this 128 we have to take on that side 51200 this 02 and here it is 128 now if we simplify this it is 40000 therefore we got here taxable value of AC is equal to 40,000. Therefore, we can write taxable value of AC is rupees 40,000. Now, dear student, we got here rate of HGST, rate of GST, we got taxable value, we have to find out the amount of GST. Now, amount of GST amount of GST is equal to total value minus taxable value. Now total value is 51200 minus 40,000 and dear student it is 
How much? One, one, two, double. It is eleven thousand two hundred. This is the amount of GST is rupees one, one, two, double, zero. Very simple. Go through this method. It will be a easy. Now see what is remaining. Rate of a GST we write down. Rate of GST is find out taxable value of AC. Taxable value of AC is forty thousand. Then amount of CGST and amount of HGST. Now dear student, amount of CGST is equal to amount of HGST is equal to half into amount of GST. It is half into one one two double zero. It is rupees five thousand six hundred. Got it? Dear student, very simple. Write down this in your notebook. Go through this sum again and again. If you have any doubt, then comment me in a comment box. Now we have to start with the next sum. <coughs> Question number seventh one. Prasad purchased a washing machine from Maharashtra Electronic Goods. The discount of five percent was given on a printed price of rupees forty thousand. Dear student, it is important. That means printed price is rupees forty thousand. On that printed price, five percent discount is given. That means first of all we have to find out the taxable value. Then rate of GST charge was twenty eight percent. Find the purchase price of washing machine. Also find the amount of CGST, HGST shown in the tax invoice. The students is one additional thing in this sum is given. That is printed price. See here. Is rupees forty thousand. Dear students, see here. Prasa purchased a washing machine from Maharashtra Electronic Goods. The discount of five percent was given on a printed price of rupees forty thousand. That means actually the price printed price of washing machine is. How much it is? Forty thousand. But on this forty thousand, five percent discount is given. Five percent discount on rupees forty thousand. Therefore, amount of discount. Is equal to five percent of forty thousand. The student discount means this amount will be subtracted from the printed price. But it therefore it is five percent into forty thousand upon hundred. Now see here five into four hundred. Therefore, it is rupees two thousand. This is discount. That means taxable amount taxable amount of washing machine is equal to. Forty thousand 
माइनस टू थाउजेंड बिकॉज ओरिजिनल प्राइस इज फोर्टी थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड डिस्काउंट इज गिवन दैट मीन्स फ्रॉम दिस फोर्टी थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड इज सब्रेक्टेड देर फॉर इट इज थर्टी एट थाउजेंड नो डेयर स्टूडेंट एक्सेबल वैल्यू इज थर्टी एट थाउजेंड नो सी द फर्दर द रेट ऑफ जी एस टी वॉज ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट रेट ऑफ जी एस टी नौ रेट ऑफ जी एस टी इज ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट नौ वी हेव टू फाइंड आउट द अमाउंट ऑफ जी एस टी बिकॉज वी हेव टू फाइंड आउट द परचेस वैल्यू परचेस वैल्यू मीन्स दिस थर्टी एट थाउजेंड प्लस जी एस टी देर फॉर वी हेव टू फाइंड आउट अमाउंट ऑफ जी एस टी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट ऑफ थर्टी एट थाउजेंड देर फॉर ट्वेंटी एट अपॉन वन इन टू थ्री एट ट्रिपल जीरो अपॉन हंड्रेड देर फॉर इट इज देर स्टूडेंट ट्वेंटी एट इंटू थ्री एट जीरो इफ वी मल्टीप्लाय दिस सी एर ट्वेंटी एट इंटू थ्री एट जीरो दिस टेन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी देर फॉर वी गेट यर अमाउंट ऑफ जी एस टी इज इक्वल टू रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी देर स्टूडेंट सी एर वी गॉट प्रिंटेड प्राइस ऑन दैट प्रिंटेड प्राइस फाइव परसेंट डिस्काउंट we get discount as a 2000 therefore from 40000 we subtract we get 38000 is a taxable value on this taxable value gst is applied and gst is 28% therefore amount of gst is 28 of 28% of 3000 38000 we calculated it is 10640 now we have to find out purchase value परचेस वैल्यू ऑफ वॉशिंग मशीन इज इक्वल टू वॉट इज टैक्सेबल वैल्यू प्लस जी एस टी टैक्सेबल वैल्यू इज थर्टी एट थाउजेंड प्लस जी एस टी टेन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी इट इज Forty eight thousand six hundred and forty. This is the purchase value is forty eight thousand six hundred and forty rupees. Got it, dear student? Up to this, we completed purchase value of our washing machine. After that, we have to find out the amount of CGST and amount of HGST. Now see here, amount of सी जी एस टी इज इक्वल टू अमाउंट ऑफ एच जी एस टी इज इक्वल टू हाफ इन टू अमाउंट ऑफ जी एस टी ये स्टूडेंट हाफ इन टू जी एस टी इज टेन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी देर फॉर हियर इट इज फाइव थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी रुपीज देर फॉर सी जी एस टी एंड एच जी एस टी इज Five thousand three hundred and twenty. Dear student, today we completed question number five, six, seven. All these three are important one. As all of you know that because of COVID nineteen, some part is reduced from the chapter. Therefore, share then mutual funds. All these parts are reduced. Therefore, the GST part is important from this chapter. therefore question number 5 6 7 is is important one as a point of exam you dear student write down all these sums in your notebook go through this sum again and again watch the video carefully try to understand every step and solve the sums which are in a problem set thank you